Oh Lord, my God What an awesome wonder Comes it all The world Thy hands have made I see the stars Hear the rolling thunder The power of the universe display Then sing my song
Let's all stand, please. Ascended our way 
when someone like Sibylos wrote, whatever might come away, we can say it's well. It is well with our soul. Lord, you are so loving. You are so forgiving. You are so merciful, Lord. You are so sympathetic. And we come today, Lord, to thank you for standing back for life. Lord, remember his grieving family. Give them strength, Lord, and support. Bear them up as they grieve his sad passing. Oh God, you are in the heaven. And you have done and you will do whatsoever you please. So Lord, we thank you for the long life you have given to this time. And the favors you have given him during this time. And Heavenly Father, we just pray in the name of Jesus that you will strengthen everyone. Let this service, Lord, be a spiritual uplift and real celebration of his life. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You can all have your seats. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. 
There will be no more death, or mourning, or crying, or pain. For the old order of things have passed away. He who was seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. Then he said, Write this down, for those words are those worthy and true. He said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To him who is thirsty, I will give to him to I'll give drink. Sorry, give to him drink before cast from the spring of the water of life. He who overcomes will inherit all this, and I will be his God, his God and he will be my son. Here is you. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Sister Evelyn, for that, that very inspiring scripture. It's one of the scripture that speaks and drives home to our hearts a very strong <coughs> message, even without explanation. It does. Can I uh, invite Sister Annie Scott, Sister in law, to come and give her children, please? Our loved ones on earth are made up of memories of those that we know and love. These memories are not always good for me, for we to have all sinned and fall short of the glory of God. At a time like this, our thoughts go to the goodness that we see in those we have loved. I have good memories of my brother-in-law, Stanley Scott. We all remember we all remember him for his love yeah. of his guitar. <laughs> you know, it's his nice guitar, yeah. which he would play often, whether at home or traveling. I recall a time when, as a young mother, I needed to take my twins to the hospital. They were babies at that time. My husband, Stanley brother, was at work. I knew it would be really difficult for me to get them there by myself, but I knew that I needed to. I thank, I think, I thank God that Stanley came to my home and offered to take them to the hospital with me. The journey on the bus seems long, but we were soon there. Stanley stayed with me and supported me in my time of need. I am happy that I had have a good memory of Stanley. He did a good thing for me. As his health deteriorated in his later years of life, I remembered his kindness towards me. I visited him in his time of need. I prayed for him and those who were caring for him. In this life, our kindness can make a difference to someone. God bless you, Stanley. Thank you very much. Bless you. That's wonderful. I forgot. Can I ask all those with your mobile? Please, can you either turn them off, put them on airline mode, Put them on silence. Please do that and do that now for us too. Now we're going to skip open tribute for a moment because 
we are very limited to time, and we have to be very considerate and remain to this time. But I don't really want you to jump over the time and leave us. We have a program in this item that the program must be completed. So I'm going to move on to a musical solo by Joyce Thomas. We can come back to open tribute depending on how much time we have. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here and to give my tribute to Stanley. He would be are uh, from the same district I knew when I was a child, and he always has his guitar. He's the older, I was the younger, and he more or less brought up with my other three elder sisters, so I knew him. The last time I saw him, he was on Man Street Road, um, coming up near to Peel Street with his guitar. And uh, to be honest, I thought he had gone home already, but thanks be to God, God kept him for 98 years, and it's a privilege. You know, in times like these, we need a savior. Yes. In times like these, when you're going through losing your loved ones, it's not easy, but don't forget, it's the way of life. It's the way of life. So we must make our calling and our election sure for such a time as this, because we don't know when our name will be called, or because we are on a road. So I'm just going to sing a little song for you that has been blessing me for the past two weeks. For me personally, it has been blessing me and I just pray that it will bless you because in times like these, you need a faith. You need Jesus to stand on the solid rock. Praise God. So I'm going to sing for you my faith. Looks up to you. My faith looks up Ah, 
singing loudly and playing such a melodious tune. In later years, Stan developed dementia. On his 90th birthday, when his daughter-in-law and two of his old friends visited him to celebrate, he was amazed to hear that he was 90. He asked, whatever had happened to his 80s? <laughs> Last year, he was admitted to hospital with kidney failure. The hospital informed his family to prepare for the worst. Stan, however, had other ideas. Eventually, the hospital discharged him back to the care home to live his last few days at home. The next day, the staff were happy to say that Stanley was up 
dressed and sitting in the communal lounge. Stan lived at Landale House for some years. The staff there were wonderful, and Stan was cared for in an exemplary way. He died there peacefully on the 2nd of March, 2018. He is survived by six children and numerous grandchildren who are scattered all around the world. May he rest in peace. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Father. Thank you very much. We're doing exceptionally well with time, and uh, we're going to have 10 minutes for open tribute. Anyone who would like to give a tribute, we have 10 minutes, please. So, at 10 to 10. Oh, thank you. For many Jamaican families in, nine, in the 1950s and 60s was a time of transition. There was a mass exodus, exodus from Jamaica when families were often split apart, when parents usually fathers took the opportunity to move the board for a better life. Many of them worked hard to ensure that their wives and children could join them. So they were never reunited and sadly Stan fell into that category. Stan was a hard working man who also spent hard. He was a he had a wife and seven children in Jamaica but never managed to save enough to spend for them. I I was only in the most <coughs> fortunate enough to come to this country. Three of my brothers found their way to the USA. It is testament to us that we have managed to help our sister and three brothers who are still in Jamaica. Our mother was a lucky, gentle, and humble woman who had to be both mother and father at this time. It was she who taught us right from wrong. It was she who kept the family together. And we all loved her and respected her for that. In many ways, she kept the struggle of our two parents. Stan worked and played as hard with as many families. We didn't all see eye to eye, but he suffered too. He must have been lonely at times. He missed out on family life. He didn't have contact with those children, grandchildren, and great grandchildren. He ended his days in residential accommodation where he looked after well and was comfortable. He died peacefully in Bellahead. We all have forgets in life, both of what we did and didn't do. But perhaps in most cases, it's things that you didn't do that are to be regretted. The most I bear no ill will for the circumstances that split up our family. We all survived and are still close to each other, despite being scattered all over the world. Stan lived in the great age of 98. He lived behind a whole dynasty of people. We look out for each other and are kind and caring. May he rest in peace. This is exceptional. I can see we either have a prime minister, <laughs> our politician, or somebody underrated. Yes, yes. I can see. Yes. Have we got any other member, children, member of the family first, please? Any other children? Okay. Uh, anyone? Immediate family, please. All right. We have to tell you some more contribution. Well, 
both myself and Stan work in the same establishment. Stan and I work. And pipes too. Stan was a pipe grinder. And I am a pipe fitter well left. So we both work in the same establishment. Stan was a below sport. Cricket was his aversion. And his two main icons was Wesley Hall and Charlie Griffith. Those two bowlers that drove terror in the batsmen around the world. Charlie Griffith and Wesley Hall. Stan, as we call her, he loves singing. Yeah. He's a great guitar. singer with his guitar. <coughs> he didn't just sing songs, he sang the blues and he also sang all religious chants. He's a great singer. He, a member of his family, told me about an instance where Stan and this lad Yam on his head. No doubt, maybe it was a weight. But Stan devised a plan in which he could get that Yam at home without having to stop. So he started to sing <coughs> a song. And I can tell you, Stan sang that song against the truck. The song was, never fail me yet. Never fail me yet. You know the song. Jesus. Yes. Never fail me yet. Jesus. And he sang the song right through. But he sang briskly, swiftly, and with the rhythm. Never fail me. And he got home with the air. We don't have him to put it down. He was a great fellow, and the family would like to remember Stan as a loving, hardworking, and fun making individual in the family. Stan went so far, and he nearly made it to the three figures. Was the final of it? Nearly made the three figures, but he didn't win because that thing we call it death prevented him from getting there. But he nearly made it. Friends, I want to say this. We don't have a little time to do it, but I think I have enough time. I think that would be, would be the right thing. I right, didn't tell you something, a very important thing in life. Death is an enemy, but death is an inevitable thing. It doesn't matter whether you are high or low. It doesn't matter whether you are rich or poor. It doesn't matter. Death will, death will go into the throne. And it will end the reign of king and queen. That's what that is like. It, has, it is an unknown uh, 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 enemy. It visits the same, it visits the same, it visits the, visit the same. You can't stop. When they come, the doctor, it, look, it doesn't matter how acute, and it doesn't matter how articulate. Uh, uh, a doctor might be, or a surgeon might be, when death comes, he just pulls up his suit, he sets a scope, he sets a scope with it, he just put it in his case, and made it very clear. That's it, there's nothing more in it. That's right. That is an unwanted enemy, but yet we are going to die. The Bible says that a person like a man wants to die, but after death comes the judgment. Doesn't matter who you are. some people in the Bible, and it appeared that they had outwitted 
And it appeared that they hope, had outsmarted death. But they did. As long as they did, they had to die. For instance, we read in Genesis chapter um, 5 and verse 25 that Trisha lived 969 years. But he died. In Genesis chapter 5 and verse 20, we read of Jacob lived 962 years. But he died. We read of Anna. Anna lived 910 years. But he died. Abraham lived 775 years, but he died. Jacob lived 100, and, and, and Abraham lived um, 175 years, he died. Jacob lived 147 years, but he died. Moses lived 120 years, but death will strike, and no one can stop it. Right now, this very present moment here is a lady I'm talking about now. Today, there is a, 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 a present lady, the longest living person at this very present moment is a lady by the name of Emma Monaco. Mon Mon and she's an Italian. She's 160 years old and 169 days. 169 years, 169 years. She's still alive. You see, she's not dead yet. But, but, she's not dead. We can avoid that. There is only two individuals in the Bible who never did see that. Enoch and Elijah. When they were going to come out here to that. Biblical prophecy tells us that they were going to come out in the two witnesses. Revelation chapter 11 and verse 3. They're going to come back here on the earth, they're going to cause all kinds of terror and all kinds of shock away here upon this earth. But then they're going to fulfill Hebrews chapter um, 9 and verse 27. They are going to die. They can't avoid death. Death will come. And friends, before I, 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 I end, the service today, I, I want to tell you of something very important, and it is this. We are all going to die. We are all going to die. And we all need to have a relationship with Christ. Now, some people say, I don't need a religion. Religion. religion comes to us true. But I don't want any about religion either. I agree with you. I'm on your side. Religion comes to us true. I want to give up Christ. The Bible says more, more of Jesus. More of his saving, lost for me, more of his love for life. I want to give up Christ. Every one of us, we need to have a relationship with God. There is something in us that needs a relationship with Christ. And when we don't have that relationship, it, there is a gap in our lives. There is an, an empty space. There is a deep void. We need a relationship with Christ. We cannot survive without it. God made us. There is something in us that needed. Money can do it. Pleasures can do it. Material things cannot do it. It's only Christ can make me that relationship. He is the only one, whether we want it or not, that is the fact. Only a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ is going to be. Now, what the richest man, I think his name was Aristo Onesis. Now, if you don't know who he is, you will remember President John F. Kennedy. And he's the man who married to his wife. He was one of the richest men. And you know what he said? He said that millions 
does not always add up to the relationship in life that men need. Onesis said he was a ship owner. He had all the money in the world, but he did not have the peace of God in his life. <coughs> so he was a God, a large God, and only Christ can fill that God. Jesus said in, in St. John chapter 6 and verse 35, I am the bread of life. Any man who come to me shall not hunger, and he that believeth in me, he shall not thirst. I am the bread of life. Friends, and believe me, one might be famous, one might have much, one might have all the wisdom in this world, but all these things does not give us a relationship. In fact, inside the scripture, it said somewhere in Jeremiah chapter 9 and verse 27, Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. Let not the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches. But let him glory in this, that he understand me that I am God. And he me. He is loving kindness, he is mercy, he is righteousness, and he is peace. Friends, I want to tell you, we all need a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. The scripture says the point of the man. Take the man. What to that? You can't avoid it. We can't evade it. We can't dodge it. We will die. But after death comes the judgment. And my prayer today for you is that God will give you the peace and the Father in the name of Jesus. I pray today. Let the death of Stan remind us of our inescapable appointment. An appointment that we cannot avoid and we cannot evade. Lord, may your blessing be upon this family. And many in this service will have a personal relationship with you. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will draw near. Let them not just experience life in you, but let them experience that you are a sustainer of life. So, Lord, may your blessing, may your peace, may your joy. Bless us within our inner man. Give us that peace that we need. And kind of live with it. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 the undertaker now to come and open the casket. <coughs> when they come to open the casket, we are going to sing. Chorus here. Think soon and very soon. We are going to see the king. Yes. I don't know if you probably might not have one of these sheets yet, but I know you will still have one. Do you have one?
So we will start from this side. And then after that, we are going to go to this side. Alright? Soon and very soon, we are going to see that you can stand and sing, you can clap your hands, and you can do it all. Okay, let's stand. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the thing. Put your hands together. Soon and very soon, we are
Paul, you want to do this side? I could do that. Behind you, to Luai. I want to stay this side. Come, no, come, come, Paul. Yeah, we should have been here. I'm not ready yet. Are oh, you ready? So if you lift it on now. Which one here, mate? Yeah, just Into the darkness that. and warmth of the earth. We lay you down into the smiles and sadness of our memories. We lay you down into the circle of living and dying and rising again. We lay you down. You pull up your. May you rest in peace, in fulfillment and in loving memories of all those 
to whom held you so dearly and so close to their hearts and to whom you mean so much. May you rest and run straight into his embrace. Man that is born of a woman has but a short time to live and is full of misery. He cometh up as it and is cut down like a flower. He fleeth as it were a shadow and never continueth in one day. In the midst of life, we are in death. Of whom may we seek for succor, <laughs> but of those, O oh Lord, who for our sins are justly <coughs> displeased. Thou knowest, Lord, the secret of our hearts. Shut not thy merciful ears to our prayer, but spare us, Lord, most holy, O oh God, most mighty, O oh holy and eternal Savior, Thou most worthy judge, eternal, suffer us not at the last hour for any pain of death to fall on us. For as much as it has pleased the Almighty in His divine providence to take out of this world a soul of our deceased brother, we therefore commit his body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, looking for the general resurrection in the last day and in the life of the world to come to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. <clears throat> At whose second coming in glorious majesty to judge the world, the earth and the sea shall give up their dead and the corruptible bodies of whom sleep in him shall be changed, make unto his glorious body. Let's all say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest, remain, and be with us all, now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Now you're going to get your shovel in your hand. When the roll is called up yonder, turn over your hands on the left hand side. When the roll is called up yonder, then the trumpet of the Lord will sound the clouds of the morning, and the morning breaks the sun bright When the Savior shall gather us around the earth, and the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. And the roll is called up yonder. When the roll is called up yonder, when the roll. On the bright and glorious morning, when the daily light shall rise, and the glory of His resurrection share, when His chosen ones shall gather to their home beyond.
the skies And the road is called up yonder I'll be there From the dawn to setting sun, let us talk of all his wondrous love and care. Then, when all of life is over and our work on earth is done, and the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder. Yonder I'll be there When the road is all of yonder When the road is all of yonder He's called a yonder when the road, when the road is called a yonder when the road is called a yonder round there. Rock of Ages, clap for me. Rock of Ages, clap for me. Rock of Ages, let me hide myself. Made 
up my mind to love God's way through the rest of my life. Goodbye, world. I am staying no longer with you. Goodbye, nature. Of my life, I made up my mind to go God's way the rest of my life. Goodbye, world, Goodbye, world. and I'm staying no longer with you. Goodbye, nations of sin, and I'm staying no longer with you. I made up my mind to go God's way the rest of my life. I made up my mind to go God's way the rest of my life. I'm going up your we're going up yonder to be with our Lord. I'm going up yonder. I'm going up yonder. I'm going up yonder to be with my Lord. Anybody ask you? Where I'm going, where I'm going to. If anybody asks you where I'm going, where I'm going to. We're going up yonder. We're going up yonder. We're going up yonder to be with our Lord. We're going up yonder. We're going up yonder. We're going up yonder to be with. Lord. I can't take the pain, the heartache it brings, the comfort in knowing I'll soon be gone. If God gives me grace, I'll run this race. Until I see my Savior face to face. I'm going up yonder. I'm going up yonder. I'm going up yonder to be with my Lord. I'm going up yonder. I'm going up yonder. I'm going up yonder to be with my Lord. Yeah, I'm going up yonder. I'm going up yonder. I'm going up yonder to be with my Lord. I put this one. This one I brought. Let me put this one. I'm gonna say goodbye. I'm gonna say goodbye. When my life on earth has ended, I'm gonna say goodbye.
Even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. And here we are, Lord, man going to his long home, and the mourners go about the street. Help us, Almighty God, that we too will be mindful that one day we will take this journey. Help us to prepare ourselves for that. In Jesus' name. Amen. You know, let's all say the Lord's Prayer together. Oh, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive us the trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May God bless you. May the peace of God be with you, now and forevermore. Amen. Abide with me, fast was the evening time.
swift to its close. Family wants to get involved in the photo. Come up, just come here. Anyway, cheese. You don't have to go on the grass. I fear no foe. We